So in this video, I'm going to be outlining how to go from 20k a month to 100k a month. And this is just my personal opinion. This is what I'm doing this year because my goal this year is to hit my first $100,000 a month. I may not reach it. I might. Let's see. We'll do a review at the end of the year. But in this video, I'm going to be outlining this entire process here. You can see on what you need to do in order to go from here to here, okay, where you know, you you have the problem now where anyone can work with you, but not everybody wants to work with you. So in this process, you're going to fix that problem to the point where not everyone can work with you, but everybody wants to work with you. And that is what we really, really want, at least in my opinion. OK, so the first thing that you have now is you have your consistent client acquisition methods. OK, call the M's, call the emails, paid ads, organic inbound, whatever it is. These all work. OK, obviously, some are better than others and more consistent and just take up less of your time. Whatever it is, they all work. OK, you know, some you need more volume, some you just need to spend a bit more money, but the return can be even greater and it's more predictable. Whatever it is, if you do all of these, that's great. No matter what, they all lead to this process. Book a call, take sales call, close client. OK, this is an extremely frictionless process because someone picks a time that works for them. They show up on the call and then they give you money to, you know, join your service, your, buy your product, whatever it is. OK, and to get to 20K a month, which is it's a good point to be at. OK, but it's not, you know, the, the final goal for most people. So to get to this point, you reduced friction as much as possible to make it as easy as possible for someone to pay you, okay, and to buy your product, which is fine because you need to do that in order to get to this point, okay? You need to build up that credibility. You need to build up those results. And only from there can you really increase, you know, prices, scale to this $100,000 a month per month mark, okay? And you can see here, we're going to be talking about how to do that in just a second. But like I said earlier, the problem with this is that anyone can work with you, okay? They just need to have the money and they can come and work with you. But not everybody wants to work with you because they don't know who you are, okay? They may not think that your product is worth it, okay? And the process to get to you is far too easy. So how do we fix that, okay? And this is where everything comes into play in order to scale to this $100,000 per month mark. So we do the same thing, okay? $100,000 is just repetition. It's just doing more of the same thing at a higher volume. You have the same consistent client acquisition methods, whatever it is, okay? But there are two main things and one side thing that you need to do in order to scale to that $100,000 per, $100, per month mark. And that is increasing friction in the buying process massively, okay? And there are multiple steps that someone who wants to work with you needs to, needs to take. And you can see here, I outline them in this funnel that I've taken from somebody very, very successful in the space. And we're gonna be going over that in just a second. But these next two things, okay, are very simple and very easy to do. You just raise your prices, okay? Potentially even double them because think about it. If you double your prices, you get half the clients, but you still make the same amount of money. It just takes less work on your end and you're making the same amount. But on the upside, okay, if you get more clients, then you make more money. And this does two things as well. It does this. And if you raise your prices, your product or your service is instantly perceived as more valuable and higher quality. Now, there's a catch to this. You can't just double your price and deliver the same service. OK, you can increase your price by 10, 20, 30, 40 percent and still deliver the same service. But in order to double your prices and actually make it worthwhile for the person that's going to be paying you a multi four figure investment or, you know, maybe it's multi five figures, whatever your prices will become, you now need to make that product worth that price. And you do this by giving everything away. And I'm talking everything and more. OK, you need to reevaluate what you have in your program, your info product, whatever it is. And you need to give everything away. You need to do a complete and total brain dump, even if you don't think it's valuable. Because one of the things that um, Charlie Morgan talks about when I, I was watching one of uh, the videos that he was featured in is that his program, I think, is 140 hours long or maybe more. OK. His entire program is 140 hours long. That's like three to four times longer than the majority of info products out there. And what this does is people are paying him $10,000 in order to buy this course, okay, and this program and get the coaching calls and whatever. And he's 
over delivering on what they need. Okay. Because if someone follows that and goes through absolutely every single step that he teaches, there's no possible way that, you know, you will lose, but the catch is that it costs $10,000 to get into. And this does, you know, these, both of these two things, you know, he gets half the clients and he still makes the same amount of money and it increases the perceived value and the perception of what it's actually worth. You know, it makes it seem a lot more valuable just because it's priced higher, but he also delivers on that by giving everything and more away. Okay. So that's the second thing you need to do. Now the third thing, okay. And this is really where, um, you know, things start to take a, take a turn for the best. And I've found this personally in the past couple of weeks and months as well is increasing your authority by building your brand. Okay. And delivering good results. Ultimately the, 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 the final end goal of any product or any service is to deliver good results to the person that's buying it from you. Okay. Because then this creates this flywheel of success and you can leverage those results for success. And then, you know, I made a whole video about this, but you leverage those results to get even more clients. And this increases your authority. You can do this by making content, running ads, building up your personal brand, whatever it is. Okay. I'm not telling you to, you know, you know how to build your personal brand. That's very, very basic. And you just start putting out videos like this one. Um, but you'll be able to sell to people without ever even having to take a sales call or even talking to them, you know, because you build trust with them through the content they watch. You know, I think it takes someone seven hours of content to go from an absolute no idea who you are to, I want to buy their product. Okay. Just seven hours that, you know, it doesn't matter. That could take, you know, two days or that could take six months. It doesn't matter because eventually someone will buy. I know that you watching this, it's just a matter of time before you buy because you're watching this. You're seeing that I know what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm establishing authority and I'm also building trust with you now. This is exactly what I'm doing. And I've done, I'm doing all three of these things that I'm talking about. I've raised my prices for 2024. I'm increasing the friction in my buying process and I'm putting out consistent content across all platforms. I'm practicing what I preach. Okay. Now going back to step number one, which is arguably the most important step in my opinion is increasing friction massively. Okay. Now let's take a, uh, an example here from a fellow YouTuber, someone who I very, um, I respect, I wouldn't call him a YouTuber. He's a extremely successful entrepreneur in the info product space. Um, you know, he's recently been popping off on YouTube. I'm sure if you just do a little bit of research, you'll find out who this is, but, um, just to prevent, you know, time wasters from potentially booking calls with him and also, um, you know, viewing him as a bit of a competitor, I've blurred everything out to do with him and his name, but it is the exact same process that you can copy and you can implement for your info product or whatever it is you're, you're trying to sell. So let's just take this YouTube organic funnel. So he's funneling every single viewer. Okay into this funnel, people who want to work with him. Okay. So you can see he has a call to action here. Okay. Telling them what they're going to do. And it's a link to go to this landing page. When you land on this landing page behind this is a VSL video. Now VSL stands for video sales letter. And this is going to be the most important part in the entire sales process, because you're going to be pre qualifying people by showing them results. Okay. And explaining what you do and who you work with. And you're going to be pre-selling them again by showing previous results and telling them that this is what they're going to get if they decide to work with you. This is about generally 20 to 30 minutes long, but sometimes it can even be longer. And the longer it is, the more people you filter out and the higher chances of someone buying, you know, is. So, you know, there's obviously a limit. You don't want to make a three hour long VSL, but, you know, anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes is good. And it's essentially just telling people who you are, what you do, how you can help. And, um, I call it neural programming. So you're programming them to, you know, to think that if they watch this video, okay. And they book a call and they work with you. Okay. That is all they have to do. But as you can see, this process is a lot more rigorous than just doing that. Okay. And if they make it through all of those, um, the, the sort of, you know, pre-qualifying labyrinth, then they, will get the same results as the people that you're showing in this VSL. So make a VSL, have a landing page. And then when someone wants to book a call, they have a rigorous qualifying process 
Okay, and this allows for the person who's running this to only book qualified calls with people who want, who want to work with him and people who only can afford to work with him. Because if you go through these questions, which we'll do in a second, you'll see that they are so in-depth and so specific that he only books calls with people who are qualified. Okay, so you can see here, I'm not going to read through all of them, you know, but this is essentially, you know, referring back to his um, pre-sales video. And he does not allow people to book a call with him or to go through this process unless you have watched this for yourself. Okay, so that pre-qualifies and pre-sells video. You can see here, please watch the video below before booking the call or your call will be canceled. So as you can see here, he's referring to some people in the call. Um, you know, this is sort of just getting their buying intent ready. So like, you know, what do they do? Who do they, what, like, what is it they are wanting to work with him to do? You can see he's got a couple of other options here and then they select one of those and then they move on. Now here is where, you know, the, the, the rigorous part of it comes in. He's getting extremely specific. You know, he wants to know every single thing about the business because before he takes a call, guaranteed he goes through, okay, him or his closers or whoever does the sales calls, goes through and they, they, they look at these questions, okay, and they probably have a predefined minimum criteria that somebody needs in terms of, you know, all-time earnings within their business and what they're struggling with, you know, what they're currently doing and their existing offer or service. So they currently, they, they probably have a minimum okay, that people need to, and they're going through this before, and they're canceling people that don't qualify, okay, and they're accepting people that do qualify. Once again, booking calls with qualified people only, because there's no point in taking sales calls with someone who just wants to know a bit more. If they want to know more, they can know more in the DMs. So age, you know, current monthly income, obviously, you know, this, this, this guy has quite a high ticket program, multi, multi four figures, um, so, you know, I think his minimum is $3,000 a month. Um, so, you know, anyone earning less than sort of 5K a month isn't going to qualify. So I assume anybody below this, you know, 2 to 5K per month mark, uh, so this and below, uh, their calls are going to get instantly cancelled, which is fine. You know, it's just saving more time instead of taking an hour sales call. It's going to waste time with somebody who just wants to know more. That's why I don't take sales calls with people that just want to find out more. I just tell them everything in the DMs on Instagram. So, you know, if you want to know more, just DM me on Instagram and I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Price, I don't really give a shit because I know that at the end of the day, you are going to buy. It's just a matter of time of you consuming my content and seeing the value. So, you know, this is again, just pre-qualifying. So like, how confident are you that you're ready to hire this guy to coach you? 100%, 90%, 50%. 0%, okay, like anything below this, 50%, they probably cancel the call because they don't want to take the call with people that aren't qualified and that don't want to work with him. So, you know, and then stating that it's a multi four figure investment and then, you know, goes to telling them to go on a computer. You can read through this all in depth if you want to in yourself, but essentially what this problem is doing and what this is fixing is from here where anybody can work with you, but not everybody wants to, now, what we have, after everyone goes through this process, because it's so in-depth and so rigorous, okay, everybody wants to work with us, but not everybody can. And you create a sense of exclusivity when someone works with you, because you become an authority figure to them, so you have all the leverage, okay? And I promise you that if someone goes through this entire process and answers all of the questions and is a qualified prospect, and watches the video and consumes your content, they are 99% more likely to convert, okay, than someone who just, you know, booked a call without any pre-qualifying questions and didn't consume your content and doesn't know who you are. So, you know, and, and combine, combining this with raising your prices and increasing your authority, your closing rate should be at a minimum of 60 to 70% per month with this. Okay, a minimum of 60%. And, you know, this is an extremely pro easy process to set up. It's a couple of questions. You can copy these. You know, you can go and do your own, whatever it is you want to do. But this is an extremely simple process to set up. Okay, if you want to do this for your business, look at this video, watch it back, go through all of these steps. And I promise you, this is going to be the thing that takes me from 20K a month to 100K a month. And it is going to be the thing that takes you from 20K a month to 100K a month. If you have any questions or anything, shoot me a DM on Instagram. 
I'll be more than happy to answer. And uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.